Hey there everybody, it's Mark Crilly. I'm back with another video. This is of course my New Year's video and I've decided to turn it into a collection of New Year's resolutions for creative people. Uh, and as I introduce these various New Year's resolutions, I'm going to be working on a little illustration sort of celebrating the year 2021. Of course the year 2020 was uh, kind of a nightmare in so many ways and uh, we really are hoping that uh, 2020 will be uh, the year when things turn around with COVID and we can all get back to normal life as we have been patiently waiting for uh, all year long. But let me go ahead and uh, I'll finish up this uh, watercolor on the face here and then I'm going to go ahead and introduce my f very first of the uh, New Year's resolutions for creative people. All right, here we go. Number one, I won't obsess over the desire to see clear progress in my work. I'll strive to improve but won't lose heart if I just stay the same or even slip backwards. Uh, of course, all of us creative people, we want to see uh, progress and we're all told that uh, practice makes perfect and sometimes you feel like, well, wait a minute, I've been practicing. I've been doing my part, but I don't, I'm not seeing the progress. I feel like I'm the same as I uh, ever was. In fact, sometimes I feel like I'm getting worse instead of better. Um, well, the truth is, you know, the desire for uh, progress, and I think very often for fast, obvious uh, progress, can hinder you towards enjoying um, your work, you know. And the truth is, um, progress in a creative endeavor really does take a lot of time. And it, you know, your mileage may vary, you know what I mean? Some people uh, are destined to make massive amounts of progress. Other people, uh, it's going to be a very slow, gradual improvement and maybe not a super dramatic one. Uh, but you have to stop and ask yourself, well, wait a minute, whoever said that I have to become amazing? Whoever said that uh, my end point has to be, you know, light years ahead of my starting point? Um, some of these things we just assume are prerequisites for um, being... Uh, satisfied and happy as a creative person. I don't know if it's necessarily the case. The main thing is to be enjoying yourself. Uh, and maybe that means um, letting go of that desire for fast and obvious progress. Let's move on to the second one. Number two, instead of seeking perfection, I will be satisfied with simply doing the best I can with my current abilities. And uh, you'll notice that with all of these I'm using the word I uh, like I'm making these resolutions, and the truth is I do need to make all of these resolutions myself. Um, I uh, often am seeking a sort of a perfection in my work, and you know what? Uh, I never quite get there. Uh, and uh, the key is not to, you know, beat yourself up over these things. Um, I do think uh, uh, being too much of a perfectionist can really get in the way uh, of your happiness as an artist. And the truth is a lot of... Um, great work is slightly flawed uh, in a kind of a charming way. And, um, you know, this idea of perfection is maybe always a, a matter of opinion in the end anyway. Um, so, yeah, if you've got this sort of dream version of what you want your abilities to be or what you want this project to look like, um, and you keep getting super disappointed and demoralized when it fails to be that thing that you imagine in your head, uh, maybe it's time to let go a little bit of that vision that you have in your head and say, hey, you know, this thing uh, is going to turn out a little different from what I imagined, and who's to say that this different version uh, isn't just as good or even uh, better than what I was thinking of as the perfect final product. Uh, in any case, I do think um, excessive perfectionism for most people can really be a huge stumbling block um, and cause, I think sadly, some people to just throw down the, you know, drawing tools <laughs> in frustration and just walk away. Certainly, if that's what uh, the quest for perfection is doing to you, I'd say, hey, you know, let go of the perfection. Uh, all of my works have 
uh, flaws, mistakes, imperfections, little things about it where I'm like, ah, man, I wish I was better at anatomy, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so we're all in this together. And I should say also that um, I, I probably will be talking mostly about this as if it's only about art, but uh, I do want this to apply to all creative people. So if you're a musician, you know, uh, or you're uh, just writing something, I think most of these things can apply uh, to all these various endeavors. Hang on a second, I am going to finish up painting the hair and then I'll move on to the uh, number three. All right, number three. Instead of envying other artists, I will use their work as a way of learning new techniques and as a source of inspiration. Uh, I do think that uh, envy of other artists really is one of the, um, I think, huge stumbling blocks and unnecessary uh, stumbling blocks that a lot of artists face. Almost every uh, story I've done, I've kind of come back to this idea of, um, you know, stop comparing yourself to uh, other artists. This is not a, like a foot race, you know. Um, certainly in the, in the realm of sports, the whole point of it is to compete uh, against somebody else. And, uh, but with art, it really isn't like that. And we're going to be coming back to this later in one of the other uh, resolutions. But this idea of envying, you know, I think it really does, uh, it is super counterproductive. And the truth is, other people's work is just sitting there uh, ready to be used as a source of learning, you know. If you admire someone else's work, if you do careful copies, you can pick up some of their techniques. Uh, you can let it inspire you. You know, it's, that's the nice thing about this, is it can turn from being a demoralizing thing to actually firing you up and saying, wow, look, here's my chance to uh, learn from them. Not with the goal of becoming as good as they are. Just with the goal of picking up one or two tricks from them and adding that to your arsenal of um, techniques. Uh, for your own work, you don't want you don't want your work to be exactly like someone else's work anyway, right? Um, but yeah, definitely, I think that's uh, one of my favorite resolutions, and uh, I admit that even I uh, sometimes find myself envying other artists, uh, maybe envying the the success of other creative people, and I got to stop myself from doing that. Say no, that's not that's not helping anybody, uh, and um, you know. Envy, whether it's in areas of creativity or any area of human life, uh, is really something that will uh, knock you down and hold you back. Let's move on now, and I think I'll just sort of grab it here. Number four of my New Year's resolutions. I won't let social media get in the way of feeling good about my own work. I won't measure my worth by way of the number of likes or followers. We do live in a time uh, people my age can remember <laughs> before this time, but certainly a lot of people, a lot of you growing up uh, as young people right now, you've, you've grown up in a world where um, success and popularity can be measured by numbers that you see on a screen. Oh my goodness, this thing only got three likes, uh, and this other guy gets thousands of likes, or tens of thousands of likes. What am I doing wrong? You know, again, we come back to this sort of comparative thing, but I think that's what social media is doing to us. It is giving us these numbers, unfortunately, that uh, can be a benchmark of success or lack of success. And I think that's where social media for creative people can become a danger zone. Uh, don't let those numbers be the thing that gives you your uh, sense of self-worth. Uh, because, you know, the numbers can go up and the numbers can go down. Uh, trust me, as a guy like you know, on YouTube, I'll go ahead and talk about this. You know, I used to do videos that get got uh, sometimes millions of views, you know. Uh, and then over time, uh, the algorithm or whatever, you know, people know more about this than I do. 
um, that which goes up must come down. And I think the you just have to say, hey, look, my my value of who I am does not depend on the numbers game of uh, social media. And uh, yeah, I suppose you know, enjoy it when it's when the going is good, and uh, you get something that takes off or goes viral or whatever. But don't. Don't get obsessed with that. It's a trap. It really is. This whole uh, desire to beat your own previous numbers and stay on top and all of that stuff. Heaven forbid you should ever fall into that kind of a game uh, because that'll drive you crazy, I think. Let's move on now to number five. I will try to push myself in new directions, use a style I haven't used before, or focus on a subject. I haven't dealt with before. Uh, this one is more of a, a positive thing, not, you know, stop doing this or avoid doing that. There's an awful lot of those resolutions, sadly. Uh, but this one is more of a positive thing. I will try new things. Um, I think sometimes we do fall into a sort of a comfort zone of our usual tried and true ways of working, and maybe 2021. Uh, is the year where you break out of uh, the cycle or, heaven forbid, the rut of uh, a type of a style that is your go-to style or a subject matter that is your go-to subject matter. Try new things. That is a big part of, like, if you feel like you're going nowhere, it may be that you simply are not uh, challenging yourself to do something different. Uh, and so, yeah, you can see with me and, and my books and so forth, I'm always trying to do something new, uh, challenging myself to take on a slightly unfamiliar drawing style, uh, or in my case, a story subject matter, you know. Uh, some of you who, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, the first one you, first one of my projects you might have been familiar with was Miki Falls. Um, and uh, that story, I have never gone back to try to emulate that particular story. Brody's Ghost, the next thing I did, was vastly different from uh, Miki Falls in terms of its subject matter and its drawing style. And uh, with each subsequent project, uh, the drawing lesson, uh, or my newest one that's coming out in March, uh, my last summer with Cass, every time I'm trying to push myself out of the comfort zone of whatever the things that I've done before, let's try something new. Let's uh, go out on that tightrope, you know, have the danger of um, maybe, you know, failing on the way, but at least I tried to do something new. I didn't just stick with that same old thing. Hang on a second, I've got to get, there's a tiny little hair here that I need to get rid of. All right, we're already up to number six here. There's only eight of these resolutions, so let's go ahead and do this one. Number six, I will do my best to work or practice every day, but I won't beat myself up if I need a little break sometimes. Uh, so this is kind of two different uh, resolutions in one. Um, if you're the sort of person who only draws every once in a while, uh, or you're a musician and you uh, are only sitting down to create a new song um, every <laughs> four or five weeks or something, maybe it's time to get yourself, hold yourself to that higher standard of trying to get a little bit of something done every day. It can be helpful to, uh, to have that, um, you know, commitment of sticking with something day after day uh, and not just when you feel like it or when you uh, feel inspired or whatever, sitting around waiting for inspiration. Um, the real progress happens, I think, a lot of times when you do uh, commit to working at it, or at least practicing a little every day. That being said, sometimes you need a break, and uh, you should not allow this desire to um, stick to a, a routine of practicing or, or working on your project. You shouldn't allow that to get you bummed out uh, if you hit a little bit of a uh, creative block and just need a, a break from it. Um, hang on a second, I am going to switch to my uh, ink pen and I think I might just go ahead and ink this all in time lapse so that we'll be a little closer to the end of this uh, drawing by the time I get to uh, my uh, seventh and eighth uh, New Year's resolutions.
All right, well, you can see I did a lot more than just uh, the inking. I did want to get the uh, most of the illustration done, and right now I'm adding a bit of my beloved white gouache. Gouache! Uh, because my illustrations can never be done without a few touches of this opaque white paint. Um, but now we can finally move on to the uh, seventh of the New Year's resolutions for creative people. I will resist the temptation to view creativity as a competition. I will compare myself only to myself rather than to others. I kind of started to get into this almost accidentally <laughs> earlier on. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, our creative work is not a competition. Uh, it doesn't need to be. Uh, some people like to turn it into that. If it motivates you, you know, uh, go for it. Um, but I feel like more often the, um, f this competition thing and this feeling like, uh, oh, that person's doing better than I am. Uh, will I ever be able to catch up with them, you know? Uh, or to me, almost even uglier is like this desire to surpass somebody, you know? One day I will be even better, you know? And I'm sort of like, really? Is that what this is all about? Um, trying to beat somebody else uh, at the at the game of art creation, uh, all of that stuff seems very odd to me, uh, and I just in my life have seen mostly the, this competitive thing um, create an un unhealthy hatred of one's own work. Uh, sadly, and that's why again and again I come back to this as a theme almost uh, in my videos and uh, even in some of these stories that I've written. Uh, don't compare yourself to other artists. Compare yourself to your own previous work, sure. Um, you know, as a way of you know, getting better. Especially if seeing um, work from a long time ago when you really were no good at all, <laughs> or not nearly as good as you are now, uh, that kind of comparison will make you feel great. Um, but uh, in a way, it might be best sometimes to just... Stay focused on where you are right now and uh, realize you're doing the best you can. And uh, that um, the sort of grading on a scale of 1 to 10 or whatever is uh, nobody ever said you had to do that. Uh, isn't it mostly about enjoying yourself? Um, creativity should be enjoyable on its own without all the baggage of uh, this sort of comparing grading, as I said in one of the other ones, uh, counting the numbers of likes and so forth. All of that stuff feels like pollution to me, in a way, uh, to the purity of, uh, of the fun that you had when you were a kid, and you just took a crayon in your hand, and you realized, hey, look, I can make marks on this piece of paper. This is fun. I'm enjoying this, you know? Sometimes we've got to get back to that spirit. And now we are at the final one, and I wanted to leave you with some something to energize you. Number eight, I will get started. I will take my project from the thinking about it stage. That should have been about it. Thinking out it? <laughs> I will take my project from the thinking about it stage to the making it stage. Sorry about that typo there that slipped through to the final uh, video. Yes, make this your big resolution, especially those of you who have an idea for something, uh, or you've had a couple of false starts uh, and you've given up, make this uh, the year that you get started. Uh, don't just think about it. Don't just talk about it or tell people about it. Just get started on that thing. And don't worry how good it is. Um, just keep at it. It'll get better even if it's not so great at the beginning. Uh, the main thing is to kind of get off the couch, get away from the phone and the screens that are endlessly distracting, and uh, make something, you know? Um, you just never know where it will lead. You make something, you put it out into the world, it could change your life. It certainly has changed mine. Uh, but it's never going to happen if you don't actually make the thing. So let 2021 be the year that you do it. The year you get started, uh, on that project that you've been dreaming about for uh, such a long time. And that, my friends, is going to be where I end this. I'm not going to take my books out at the end of this video. 
uh, people know about my books. And if you have uh, bought them or supported me by uh, getting any of the books that I've made, I am greatly, greatly appreciative of that. But mainly I'm just appreciative of you watching these videos and uh, maybe uh, uh, leaving a comment or uh, saying hi uh, on some of my other accounts like on Twitter and Instagram and so forth. Uh, just the, the feeling of connection with other artists out there is really a wonderful thing and I'm very grateful uh, to those of you who, uh, especially those of you who have stuck with me uh, for years and years. But let me go ahead and clean off this brush a little bit so that I can lay it down on the paper. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I'll be back with another one real soon.